unless you are pressed for time or something. No, no worries. Okay. All right, Armando. I, I, actually, you could probably share with us how COVID-19 has affected your regular routine in addition to how it's affected you as an artist. And if there are any moments in the day that you can allow yourself to continue to be creative. Oh, yeah, can, your audio is off. Let's see, where are you? I'm gonna unmute you. Got it, are you, am I there? Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, thank you. Oh, all right. Yeah, so, um, at first, when this whole stay-at-home order happened, um, I went to Home Depot and bought a whole bunch of stuff. I like working with wood. It helps me to think and it helps me to um, to be more creative, you know, as, as, I'm, as I'm doing that. Uh, but then it turns out that we are an essential business, so I have to go to work. And I thought, well, since there isn't really going to be much work because you can only go out and do essential things and i figured we have to stay open because um we receive medicines for a lot of people and they have to go pick up their medicines i thought well that's going to be it but it's like they let all the crazies out i mean it's like christmas right now i'm working 13 14 hour days um so i try to um I try to go through some of the old scripts in my head when I have a couple of minutes, you know, go back in the office and read a couple of the scripts and um, some of the monologues from last semester and try to do them as different personalities. You know, one of the things that, um, but it has to do a lot with the culture I come from, but one of the things that I never thought or that I always thought I would never take a role as would be as a gay person. Uh, that's kind of like taboo in our society. So uh, I've been trying to break, push myself past that and, and try to read some of those uh, monologues as if the person saying the monologue is gay or if the person saying the monologue is a woman or maybe uh, somebody from, you know, South America, somebody maybe from, I, I try to do a British accent, can't do it. But uh, that's about what I, I don't really have much time to practice on my creativity. As you can tell, I don't know if you can see the camera, I'm parked in a, in a parking lot somewhere uh, because I couldn't make it home in time. Um, I just don't really, don't really have the time to do much. Uh, but I still try to uh, to think about um, how I try to role play, like what if this thing, this whole COVID-19 thing was a movie, and then I just try to play different characters, and usually they're just playing in my head as I'm driving home, or I'll look over and I'll see somebody driving, and I try to imagine the kind of person they are and how they would be playing the role. Um, but it's, uh, that's about it. I, I, I've, uh, in the half hour that I have when I get home, I've been trying to learn to play piano, pick up a little bit of guitar. Um, I've been um, looking at the, at the videos on YouTube and, um, especially at the uh, the performances from the other people in class and trying to learn from them because I mean some of you guys are just so amazingly good that I, I just think like wow if I was only half that good it'd be okay but uh, just trying you know just just trying to do whatever I can to expand uh, to expand my mind to take a look at things uh, in a different way um uh, i i guess it helps that um i'm from a generation where we didn't really have video games and a lot of the games that we played as children we had to imagine or pretend that we were in the moon or we were 
on an airplane or that we were doing whatever we were doing because we didn't really have uh, the video games to, you know, to be able to play and, and pretend all this stuff. And so I, I try to do that a lot. Um, and that, that's about it. How would, for example, um, somebody from Texas uh, read the monologue on the, the big Lebowski or how about uh, like a Samoan? You know, how would a Samoan read the great Lebowski? Or how would somebody from India, you know, mm. how, would that, how would that accent come out trying to read or, or even from those cultures trying to understand his mentality or, you know, the California lifestyle, you know, the laid back, you know, surfer type of deal. So. No, that's great. You're stimulating your imagination and giving yourself challenges, which is how we expand our palate. So I think early on, kind of the big, the big thing was just that a lot of these production companies are closing down. So it's like, um, you know, I was hoping maybe by the time summer hits, I was going to move to LA and um, start looking for work. So um, obviously I'm waiting. Um, and, but, but in terms of uh, uh, otherwise, like, it's just like a lot of free time to do stuff. Um, obviously doing some things related to some of the classes, uh, but also a few little side projects. Um, and actually one of the thing that I'm, spending kind of a lot of time on is uh, this project of uh, colorizing and animating like old uh, photographs from like the really early World Cups to try to like make some of those moments uh, come to life. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. It's, it's a lot of fun for me. Pretty pretty nerdy though. <laughs> no, I think that sounds great. Yeah, thanks. That's fun.